22-1 is preparing adjusting entries. So we've done adjusting entries before, um, just a little bit different now for a corporation. So we need to plan and record end of fiscal period adjustments for a merchandising business organized as a corporation. Preparing an unadjusted trial balance ensures that debits equal credits in the general ledger. The unadjusted trial balance and other financial data are used to plan and to record those adjusting entries. Once the adjusting entries are posted, an adjusted trial balance should be prepared. The adjusted trial balance is then used to prepare the rest of our financial statements. So here it gives us an unadjusted trial balance. Okay, we start over here, move on to this page. Notice our debits equal credits down at the bottom. Now, we're going to do our adjusting entries for uncollectible accounts and for merchandising inventory. So, uncollectible accounts adjustment. First, we need to look at the de desired balance in the allowance account. How much we want to have in there versus how much we currently have in the allowance account. We're going to subtract those two numbers. We're going to find the difference. So that's going to tell us what our amount of our adjustment is. Okay, and when we do our merchandise inventory adjustment, we're going to do the same type of thing. This time, though, we're first looking at our current balance minus our desired balance. Okay, because our current balance is going to be larger than our desired balance in our merchandise inventory. Okay, again, we find the difference. This is the amount of our adjustment then. Okay, so here we see our unadjusted trial balance. They've given us our allowance for uncollectible and they've given us our merchandise inventory um, and our uncollectible accounts expense, what we can see on here. So these are the numbers that we figured out before for our adjusting entry. We're going to debit our uncollectible accounts expense. Remember, adjusting entries, we always debit the expense account for the amount that we figured out. And then we're going to credit our allowance for uncollectible accounts. Okay, for merchandise inventory, we don't have an expense account for our merchandise inventory. So in that case, we're going to debit our income summary and we're going to credit merchandise inventory. Again, this was the number that we figured out on the slide before. Okay, adjusting entries for supplies and insurance. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to look at, okay, what do we have listed as our supplies versus what should our supplies be? We're going to find that difference to find our adjustment. So here they just, they found the numbers already for us. Again, remember we're going to debit in adjusting entries. We debit our expense accounts. We credit then whatever other account we have. So we're going to debit supplies expense store, credit supplies store. And then for insurance, we're going to debit the insurance expense and then credit prepaid insurance. Okay, next thing that we need to do is calculate our federal income tax. So it says that our taxable income is $109,595.43. ,500, so first we need to figure out where we fall in this tax bracket. So we know that we're over 100,000, but we're less than 335,000, okay? What that tells us is that our tax is gonna be 22,250 plus 39%, notice the next part, of the amount over 100. So we are going to take what we have, 109,595.43 minus the 100. That gives us this number here. That's how much over we are of 100,000. We're then going to take that number times the 39% because it says 39% of the amount over 100. That gives us $3,742.22. We're going to add that to the 22,250 that we see here. That gives us the tax is going to be $25,992.22. Okay, for our adjustment here then, here's what we figured out to be our tax. Here's what we've already paid. We've paid $23,000. The difference between those two is $2,922.22. 9, 
sorry, $2,992.22. So we're going to debit federal income tax expense. We're going to credit then federal income tax payable. Here is a list of all of our adjusting entries. After we do that, then we are going to fill out our adjusted trial balance. Number one, describe the two methods used to determine the amount of an adjustment. Number one, for some accounts, the calculated estimate of the account is also the amount that is used in the adjusting entry. Number two, for other accounts, um, other, sorry, other accounts have a current balance when the adjustment is planned. The current balance is typically subtracted from the estimated account balance to determine the amount of the adjustment. Question number two. Which accounts are used to adjust the supplies account? 